Hello everyone. Let us now see how to solve the question number 9 in Kilashal CK80 exam simulation. So solve this question in this instance. So we were already connected to this instance. In the namespace Pluto, there is a single pod named the holy hyphen API. It has been working only uh, okay uh, for a while now, but the team Pluto needs it to be more reliable. Convert the pod into a deployment named the holy hyphen API with three replicas and delete the single pod once done. The raw pod template file is available at this location. In addition, the new deployment should set uh, the allow privilege escalation to false and uh, privilege to false uh, for security uh, context on container level. Please create the deployment and save it uh, its YAML under this location. So uh, from the sound of this question, it seems uh, there is an existing pod uh, that's running and just to in increase the reliability of that, um, we are asked to create uh, a deployment with three replicas. So the pod manifest is already available in this location and we have to create that to a deployment uh, with this additional security uh, context. So let's first inspect uh, the pod you've got to look at um, pods in the Pluto namespace. So we have this Oli API uh, pod running, which is just a one pod there. So, and they said the pod manifest is already available. So let's open the pod manifest file here. Uh, it's of kind pod and it seems to be there. And we should create a deployment uh, manifest here. So what I'm going to do is we will copy this existing uh, pod definition file. Um, OPT course 9 uh, holy API pod. Uh, copy that into the API deployment.yaml which, uh, which is where the question have asked us to uh, create the deployment manifest YAML. All right, so we have now copied the file. Let's now open this file. Uh, it's it's still a pod manifest, so we have to now change it to a deployment uh, manifest. First, let's try and get rid of um, uh, the managed fields, which we don't really need anyhow. So this looks okay. So for creating a pod, we need this to be of type deployment. Uh, and let's not touch any of this for now. Uh, let's write the deployment spec. So we know for a fact um, that the question has asked us to create three replicas. And we have to use the selector section for the deployment. And the selector should actually match the labels, uh, which is this one. And so now we have to do um, um, the, um, the template section to define uh, the pod specification. Um, here as well, we have to give the metadata information. And the label of the pod, as we can see, it, it's, I mean, we have to simply copy paste this bit of information. What are we doing? And then um, we have to now 
uh, do the pod uh, specification here. Uh, so this would be usually tricky. So we have to now uh, work with the right indentation. So we have a, um, a trick with the VI editor where we can uh, use um, the shift V command escape uh, shift V command to select visually select all that we're looking for and then we can indent this one or twice basically Um, once uh, should work in our case I have uh, you know selected everything underneath this under this um, part spec, uh, spec uh, section and uh, indented it uh, once it should take care I believe so if you are still want to uh, you know beautify and make sure you have this you know to space indentation you can do so and the next thing the question uh, really asks us is that additional uh, security context um, so the new deployment should set this allow privilege escalation to false and privileged uh, as false for the security context on the container level so we have to define or add this new security context under the container level. So let me navigate to the container section here. So now under this container section, let's add this security context as given in the question. Security context. Um, Allow privilege escalation is false. And then the other one is privileged is false. And yeah, I think that's it. Let's save this. And let's now create the resource. So keep got to create dash F um, create using this f file. Okay, so resource mapping not found for name holy API, namespace Pluto. No matches for kind deployment in V1. Let's inspect the file. Okay, so for deployment, it's not V1. We know it should be apps slash V1 as the API version. Let's try it. Okay, deployment in version v1 cannot be found. Spec template status. So we have to get rid of the status fields. Uh, yeah, which is a managed field. That. Okay, so it says the deployment is now created. Let's get uh, pods in the Pluto namespace. Uh, so this is the deployment that we have created and if we see it clearly, um, we have three replicas of it and it's all uh, happy and running. So ages seven seconds ago. So, so the question also states that we have to get rid of this a single pod that holy API once we uh, successfully deployed using a deployment with three replicas. So let's do that now. So cube got delete uh, the pod um, in the Pluto namespace, which is holy API. Okay, uh, that's deleted. So another uh, useful tip for your examination is sometimes, or <laughs> most of the cases, it will take time to delete a pod. So it's always advised to use the hyphen hyphen force switch and then grace period equals to zero. This way, it 
forcefully terminates the part so you can save a couple of seconds uh, during the exam. And that concludes uh, the question number nine. So if you like that video, please uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you and see you in the next video.